<laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Hunter King. And I'm Bo Murchaw. We are so excited for you to see our new original movie, Hidden Gems, on Hallmark Channel, part of Summer Nights. So um, we have a couple questions that Hallmark Channel sent our way that we're going to be answering. So let's uh, let's dive in. Bo, are That's you ready? Cool. I'm, I think I'm ready. Are you sure? I just, I just go for it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, Question one. Mm -hmm. It's not that serious, but I'm going to make it very serious. In Hidden Gems, I play Addie, who meets dive instructor Jack, played by Bo, while she is staying at a resort in Hawaii. Without giving too much away, can we share more about how our characters kind of, you know, come into each other's lives? I'm going to let you take this one because I don't know how to not give anything well, away. I don't, I'm not usually one, you know, for a large scoop of woo, but I got to say, Maybe fate's at play here. Maybe fate. Wow. Something Maybe of fate. is lost, which catapults oh. a series of events that takes Addie to Jack. That was incredible. I'm, I already know what happens, and I'm like, oh, man, what happens <laughs> yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. I am excited to find mm -hmm. out. So that was a perfect answer. Chef's kiss. So, yeah, what you said is my answer. Oh, cool. We're on the same page then. Same page. Okay. It was All right, let's okay. let's keep this thing going. Let's keep the party going. Um, right. Okay, Hunter. Oof, question okay. Uh huh. When Jack agrees to help Addie search for her lost ring, that was the heirloom of the. They start to learn about each other's pasts and plans for the future. What are each of your favorite qualities about your characters? Oh gosh, like our own characters or what's my yeah, favorite quality of your, yeah, of character? your character? Of Addie. Like what do you like about her? Oh gosh, okay. I Or and also you... I'm gonna add a little wrinkle into it. I'm gonna add a little wrinkle. Sorry to cut you off. Um All right. All right. also one thing maybe you don't like. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh, yeah. that's hard because I think she's damn near perfect. Um, okay. I will say <laughs> that Addie, maybe the thing that is like a little bit of her downfall is she is like such a planner and like everything is like she's like wants to be everyone's helper kind of save everybody be the fixer of all right. um but i also think that i love that about her it's like her downfall but her strength too like she has such a big heart and wants to help everybody but sometimes it comes at a cost of her own peace uh so i think just watching her journey of finding that balance Right. In, uh, you know, trying to make everyone around her happy, but also putting herself first and saying, you know, this is my life. I got to do what's best for me. Right. So it's both my favorite thing and my not favorite it's thing. Like the, inter the interview question, like, what's your biggest weakness? And you're like, well, my biggest weakness is I care too much, which is also my biggest strength. Yeah, you that's 100 percent just... exactly basically what I said. Exactly, yeah. But because it's about my character, it doesn't make me seem like it's such no, a it's, jerk. It's yeah. weird. It's great. I love it. Uh, for me, <laughs> okay, I, yours. Yeah, yeah, I'd say Jack. Well, Jack has a military background. He's very punctual, you know? Very. Cool. He has a very strong moral code, which I love. Mm -hmm. Where he has he has a compass in his ship, right? It tells him where north, south, east, and west is, and all the coordinates yeah. in between. He's got one of those, but for his morality, you know? <laughs> he knows. A moral compass. He knows. And everyone else yeah. around him, sometimes, is just not keeping up with them. Or he's playing a slightly different game than everybody else, you know? Is his just a better moral compass than everyone else has? Well, Sam <laughs> Harris talks about. No, I'm kidding. The moral <laughs> if there's peaks and valleys with morality, Hunter. Um, okay. He's yeah, just a bit better. Yeah. So, no, okay. Uh, <laughs> one thing I don't. He, okay. With that, okay, I'm going to pull a page from your playbook. With that blessing is also a curse because. Not the morality, but the, the fact that he's a little bit too regimented, which mm -hmm. maybe stops him from enjoying the spontaneity of existence. You know what I mean? Where maybe fate's at play. Fate's yeah. coming into play. Yet he's too rigid, too myopic to see maybe, yeah. like, pulling you this way, baby. You got to go with fate's hand. You got to go where life takes you. Wherever the wherever and, the wind blows, you got to adjust your sails. Wherever the sail takes you, wherever the tide may pull you, you must... We are doing so well with these puns. <laughs> We're incredible. You must roll. Roll we tide. Must roll. Roll, tide. Um, roll let's with move. tide. <laughs> let's move. Okay. I could keep going with that little pun thing for a while. Okay. 
Okay, one for you. Addie and Jack develop a special connection as they encourage one another to pursue their dreams. Why do you think viewers will connect with this storyline? Because everyone wants to follow their dreams. Everyone wants the best for themselves, right? Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you're lying. But a lot of people are afraid or for all sorts of reasons, a million things, your upbringing, what you've learned, your genetics. And sometimes taking that leap of faith or going out into, you know, to slay the dragon, so to speak, is terrifying and rightfully so. So a lot of people don't take that leap of faith. And these two are kind of are doing it. And that's what I love about stories in general, right? You you get to see what people do in extraordinary circumstances. And maybe perhaps it inspires you to go to a Hawaiian meet a potential partner. I mean, my goodness. I don't know if it's all the books behind you that have just made you oh. so inspirational. I don't know what this is. I don't actually. Read. Oh, okay. I I just, no. no, 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 no. I haven't opened one of these bad boys ever. I will say, though, sorry to like, your answer was amazing. But this is something that I think viewers should know about you is like, you are just always like, you always like know the right thing to say at the right moment. Like, I can't oh. tell you how many times like on set, we'd be like joking around and then like, you'd hear like a little something in my voice and you'd be like, well, and then you'd like dive into something. I'm like, that was just exactly the right advice I needed at the right time. And like, it was just magical. So I just think viewers should know that about you. Oh, well, that's now, viewers. That's yeah. very kind of you. I'm kind of nice sometimes. Yeah. Do you want to answer that question as well? I don't think I can back that. I think that you did a perfect job and I don't want to follow that. Hey, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Hidden Gems was filmed in Hawaii. That's where we were. That's yeah. Where oh, we were. yeah. Okay, great. Okay. And we had the opportunity to shoot at some beautiful locations. Absolutely. Without giving any spoilers, Hunter. Okay. I know. What's a favorite scene that you can't just wait for the viewers to see? Oh, my gosh. My favorite scene? Without giving too much away. I know that's so hard because it, it comes to me immediately. Like yeah. I hands down know what it is. Uh, there's a scene of Addie and Jack sitting on the beach together. It's a beautiful uh -huh. backdrop. Stunning. We're in our scuba gear. Everything's <laughs> magical. The setting. Us. We're pretty cute. Yeah. Um, the whole scene of like, uh, one, it's just beautiful to look at the setting that we're in. But it's just such an important moment in this story um, that things kind of like shift. It just was such a good catalyst of like a good bridge between like yes where they were before and maybe where they're gonna be or who they're becoming. And it was just a great moment, and I'm so excited for people to see that because it's my favorite thing. Sorry, I have a phone. Ah! Guys, I apologize. How unprofessional. Hello. Sell the stuff. <laughs> Sell, sell. Okay. Um. <laughs> Potato chip. That was actually. That was just. I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I anyway, that you... was my cute moment between that us was... that I oh, love. I'm so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh, I love how s skillful you were answering that question so cryptically. Like you Did said, I nothing. Did job? You said absolutely nothing, but absolutely everything. <laughs> Oh God, okay, I was worried I gave too much away. No, 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 it was great. It was like, so there was no specifics, but we knew exactly what you're talking about. Do you know what Thank I mean? You. Thank you. Great. Okay, because I was like, the whole time, like, ooh, no, ooh, that was too much. Okay, whew. Yeah. Stuck the landing. You Stuck know what scene I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I think And so. it's great, right? I haven't seen it, so I don't know. But I mean, when we filmed it, I love filming it. Yeah. I love like filming every scene with you, Hunter. We had a great time. Stop it, Bo. That was the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I, My I'm, I'm goodness. I nice on occasion, you know? Uh, that was so cute. I know, I did. I liked filming every single thing. Yeah. We have it filmed on camera, on camera for posterity, so you can always come back. If you ever, you know, you want to hear me say a nice thing, you got this. I should. Oh, you're right. I know. Mm -hmm. This is, I want to play this back. Okay. Um. Well, now I kind of want to know what's your favorite scene? Okay. My favorite scene. Yeah. Mine's not it like I don't know. I, I like okay, I liked this the top of my head. I liked first first day of filming. I think I was either you guys filmed a couple days before me and then I came in or it was was it the first day? Mm -hmm. It was the first day. 
and it was just me and the three girls and and McLean. Funniest day ever. And we were we were in the wilderness in Hawaii. I'd never been to Hawaii before. And I'm my mind is completely continually blown because I was also taking this or I'm in school right now and I was taking this ornithology class on birds. So I'm like we're hiking and there's all these birds mm-hmm. and I'm just nerd now and there's just so much beauty. It looks like Jurassic Park. I'm searching for dinosaurs. Uh, and we just had these like really fun, easy, like conversational scenes, and we're all getting to know each other and we're all joking and laughing. And it was just like what I love about acting sometimes. Like you're like so you like, pinch me. This is I must be dreaming because it's so right. cool. You're in some exotic place uh, with friends, burgeoning friends, and yeah. doing something you love to do. And it's sunny out. And it was like the best first day ever, yeah. wasn't it? Also, I uh, someone asked me what like the funniest moment was on yeah. set, and it was that first day with you driving the car for these like montage shots. <laughs> oh no. So check this out. So uh three weeks <laughs> before we start shooting, McClane's like, hey, can you drive stick? And I'm like, yeah, I mean I I ha- I had to learn stick for a movie once, but it's been years and I only had to drive it for this one movie. But I'm like, yeah, you give me 45 minutes to practice and I'll be fine. <laughs> All the day it's like the last scene and we have no warm up and he just throws me in this old like 70s Jeep and I'm like, I don't get my 45 minutes? <laughs> And I mean that clutch. I'm sure oh. they replaced that clutch. I mean, I was just starting and stopping, and I mean the girls were had drinks, and the drinks are flying, and I lost the top of my pineapple. Road and traffic's coming. Yet I gotta say I was pretty excited because my anxiety level didn't. I was just like I was cool, but I mean I was screwing up everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> I was up everywhere. I couldn't drive this thing, but I wasn't. My heart rate was just normal. <laughs> I think it's because we were just laughing and like no one was mad. It was just like, it just like you forgot that we were even filming because they're just like the car was in front of us filming yeah. us. And so like there was like no crew really around. Yeah, right. So I, was, I, I just for the, for the record, I got it going. I mean, I could drive it, but like getting out in the first was like, like yeah. it was, it was crazy. And then after 45 minutes, guess what? Pro. For sure. That's all Pro. I needed. That's all I needed yeah. was that 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. It wasn't just stalling. It was like, loot, loot, loot. like, oh my! I hope that they have some bloopers for that. Oh, yeah. um, oh gosh! Best day ever. And the best part was because the guy, the guy who owned the trucker was the locations or the um, transpo guy, <clears throat> was like, "So you drive stick?" I was like, "Well, I mean, I, I drove in a race car movie." <laughs> and so after we saw me driving, he's like, "You didn't drive race cars?" And I was like, "I did in the movie." It isn't a movie. I didn't actually. I wasn't a race car driver. You were like, I'm a race car driver. I just forgot. I thought I was a race car driver. It's incredible. I cannot wait. I hope that there's a little hint of your struggle. Sorry, selfishly. For no, I'm, me too. It was. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Yeah, All right. Bags, which was good. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. My turn to ask you a question again. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, Addy and Jack both love the ocean. Duh. And we see them go sailing and scuba diving. What was it like getting to film those scenes? And have you done either of those activities before filming? It was, I, this is, I didn't get to do the real scuba diving, unfortunately. I <laughs> and I scuba dive. I mean, I've got a hundred dives or so under my belt, um, maybe more. Uh, but it was great. Like my favorite, like between takes when we were just doing like rising from the depths into the surface, between takes, I would just go swimming around, and uh, on the reef. Got in trouble that one time doing oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were too buoyant, and the salt was super salt. The water was super salty, so we couldn't sink. So we had to hold all these weights, and it oh was my God. Awesome and confusing. That was hard. That was hard. Uh, was hard. But I wish I got to do some of the the scuba diving. But it was also nice not having to come in on a Sunday. Yeah, that that is kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that makes one of us. I'm glad that we didn't have to do the scuba diving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You keep your hair dry, you know. Yeah, for... <laughs> I don't like it. I want to be in a little best, bubble and underneath. Was Hunter had to wear this hat or no, this the the diving hood because her double had different hair, right? So they, she had to wear tattoos like on her neck and stuff. I think. Oh, right, right. So yeah. Hunter didn't want to have to go get tattoos put on you know, just for this role. So she had the hood on and she didn't like the hood. 
I think I you look really cute. I think it's fine. You look great in it, but it's no. Bo gets to emerge from the water. Everybody like this, like like Aquaman, like rising up from the water, like wafting his hair back in slow motion. And I come up, and one of the cameramen had to tell me to like move the 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 scuba hood, the dive hood, because it was just like yeah. This. Like literally like coming up, like trying to do a scene like this. And I'm like, this is not, this is not the way that you, you can't fall in love with me looking like this. Do you usually have four chins? Is what he was yes, thinking. I actually do. I do in fact have four chins. <laughs> it just accentuated them. And uh, you know, it was okay. It was fine. It's just because my co-star didn't have to do that. I was a little pissed. Sorry about that. Okay, we're past it. We're fine. I but saw in the ADR though, you look great. It looks great. That's kind of you. But speaking of boats, remember when I almost puked on you? No. When remember you... that moment where we had that lovely moment on the boat and we're like, oh, yes, so yes, yes. And I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, that was scary because Hunter gets seasick and we were just tied up in the dock. And there was no <laughs> waves. The nights, the wind was non existent. And she's like, mm -hmm. and then I'm thinking to myself, we have to go out in the open ocean. How are we going to film this? I was loaded up on all of like the anti-nausea medicine, but it was because it was rocky, and you know it was a uh, it was a you recipe for disaster. Me. But you did not get to, she jumped off a boat into the ocean even when there's sharks around. She was <laughs> she didn't know there were sharks around, but she oh, did it anyway. I didn't puke, so everything was okay. It, it was great. You killed Lovely. it. <laughs> Killed it. Okay. Um, all right. Is it you or is it me? Is it you? Me this time. All right. Okay. The viewers are excited to see us both star in our first Hallmark movie. They better be. They better be. Uh, <laughs> I was working on set together and the rest of the cast members. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> I hated every second of it. <laughs> uh, no, it was amazing. It was the most fun I've ever had filming something. And Ooh. I hope. No one else I've ever worked with watches this. If you do, I'm lying. Oh, I, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but easily, hands down, the most fun I've ever had on set with a group of people. Just the setting, like, it just didn't even feel like work at all. Like, I just was hanging out with my friends, and the days weren't very long, and the scenes were all fun. And I got to hang out with you every single, almost every single day, and Eliza, and, uh, it was just, it was amazing. And I, I don't know, you're just so easy to get along with too and joke around with that. It's just, you were a joy to be with um, and get to hang out in Hawaii. Like, come on. It's incredible. And you uh, introduced me to Chili's for the first time. Oh, that's right. You guys, so, Bo had never had Chili's before. I don't, I don't, no, it was like in the evening and I'm like, where should we go? Should we go to this like ahi tuna place or get some poke and this fancy little place? She's like, Chili's. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I gotta say, amazing. <laughs> Pretty good. Pitas, they were sizzling. The sizzling um, pitas, yeah. Pitas, so good. I think we did. We get some nachos or some queso. Yeah, nachos. There was all sorts of stuff. Assortment of. Oh, so. Chili's is incredible. Don't sleep on. No, I got I gotta call you out on something though. Can I do that? I don't even. I'm not asking. Actually, I'm just going to say it. Oh my um, gosh. Do it. <laughs> Go for you it. Said, you said we were gonna hang out when we got back. You're like, hey, you didn't even. You didn't even. You were like, you made it a statement. You're like, hey, just so you know, like we're gonna hang out when this is over. Okay, we're friends now. I was like, totally. <laughs> Haven't seen you once. Just say. You're a busy man, Bo. Uh, you've been traveling. You've been in Victoria. You've been in Joshua Tree. I have been traveling a lot. You've been this, traveling this a lot. Nine, I told you, nine weddings to attend. Nine. That's, okay, I'm going to let's be honest. You have too many friends. Yeah. If you have nine weddings to attend, then you just you know too many people. People like Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just have a lot of friends. People love me. I can't yeah. help it. We're, well, we're hanging out after this. I'm going to text Let's you right after this. Let's go on a hike. Let's go on a freaking hike, man. Yeah. We're going on a hike. Maybe you guys will see us on a hike. Come ride the horses. <laughs> I would love to. Yeah, it's okay. Good. All right. I'm coming over. Right. Um. Okay, wait. Is it time to do, like, the rapid fire questions now? I'm going to yes. do some rapid fire questions. Are you ready for that? I want to do okay. that. Okay. Hmm? 
So before we wrap up, I'm going to do a this or that rapid question series as well. Um, All right. Let's try it. Yep. Try paddleboard yoga or scuba diving. Me? Yeah. This is for for me, right? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Uh, Anybody? I scuba dive. I love scuba diving, I think, is one of the coolest things to do on this planet. It's amazing. However, I've never done paddleboard yoga. Okay. So I'm going to go with paddleboard yoga because... I am shocked. What's a down dog on a on the ocean like? I don't know. He doesn't know. He wants to find yeah. out. All right, here we go. Rapid fire. Okay. No thinking on this one. No. Just gut gut reaction. Okay, okay. that's all I have. Yep, yeah, let's do it. And this is for you. Oh, okay. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> this is this question. For you. It's not for your dog. Not for my dog. Okay, Poppy. Sorry. Okay. Maybe, maybe the next right, one. Go. Destination wedding or hometown wedding? No, hometown. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm down. <laughs> okay, cool. No thinking. But oh, wait, cool. hold on. Hold on. I'm not the one that's about to get married. So, destination or hometown? For me? Uh, yeah. Sorry, am I giving anything away? No, no, no. Uh, destination. That's a tough you one. Okay. It's frozen okay. concept, though. But you didn't grow up in LA. So like if you go home and get married, your destination is a hometown. Yeah, exactly. So destination. Destination slash hometown. Hometown. Yep. Don't why are you gonna make people travel, Bo? Anyway, moving on. Okay. It's your turn. Participate in a wedding scavenger hunt or give a wedding speech. Oof. I I have been a few times I've given speeches. I'm I'm good at it, but it terrifies me. Yeah. I don't, terrible. It, it's so much anxiety. <laughs> I, I can do a monologue, no problem. Not no problem, but I, I don't, you know, you're playing a character, but like myself, it's like, oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> but you know what? I like to face my fears. So I'm going with wedding speech. I'm giving one of my sister's wedding in September, too. Really? Yeah, I would like yeah. someone to film that and I can watch it. I'll just selfie myself while I'm doing it the whole Would time. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Addie had to do both. So AKA Hunter had to do both. Remember um, at the whole thing, I don't want to give things away and there's a possible wedding and I had to give a possible speech and I had to do it many, many, many times. Terrifying. Crushed it. Terrifying. Crushed it. I feel like I did it 25 times. And then, do you, are you talking about in real life or in movie life? Movie life. Yeah. There was a time in real life that you gave an extemporaneous speech and it was awesome. Do you remember that? Oh my God, it wasn't great. That was great. I think I blacked out. <laughs> I have no idea what I said. I it have was no great. idea. Greg uh, was... McLean, the nicest guy on the planet, maybe, right? The Easily. The, I think easily the nicest person. Guy. Yeah. Um, when I, he, I had ADR, he was in the car and he was late coming in. And he, I gave, I was joking around. And then he comes in and he's got tears in his eyes. He was telling me. <gasps> Because you were mad at him? Yeah. And then I, what? <laughs> you were mad? No. Oh. Yeah. There was something else without going into specifics. But he was just like, he was touched by something. And he was, oh, I thought that you texted him like, dude, where the heck are you here? And I was like, the hell are you doing in that car? Yeah, you're late. Blah, 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 blah. And turns out he was having a heart to heart with someone. And like, oh, uh. oh, okay. All right. That is sweet. I would cry if you texted me, where the heck are you, Hunter? Like, I'm probably going to cry later that you called me out for us not hanging out. So I just want to. Yeah. Anyway, we'll move on. Um, yeah. This one's for you. This one's for you. Oh, for me. Okay. Oh, wait, have lunch by the water or go on a night sail? Lunch by the water. Oh my God. Don't take me on a boat. <laughs> right. Unless you want me to take in copious lunch amounts of trauma. On land. Got yes. it. Lunch yeah. on land. Do not put food in my system on a boat. It will yeah. exit through the front door. Um, okay, your turn. Spend the afternoon hiking or cruising in a Jeep in the mountains. Oof. Man. Uh, if there's no top on this Jeep, I'm thinking. That would be pretty sweet. Maybe I cruise in the mountains, stop, and go on a hike. I don't really think that you get to, like, expand on the questions, but it's kind of a this or that situation. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, combination. Yeah. It's like highway or the highway. The highway that the Jeep is driving on. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, uh, cool. I think... I think we're coming to an end here. No, there's one more. Oh, I was kidding. 
There's one more. Don't cheat me out of my question, Bo. <laughs> ah, yes, there is one more question. Thank yeah. you. I was testing you. Okay, Hunter, <laughs> would you rather search for a hidden treasure on the beach uh -huh. or suntan at the beach? <laughs> search for a hidden treasure because you can get both in one. I'm going to pull a you. And here's, I'm going to get a tan while I search for treasure. Right, right. Or here's here's the uh, the other wrinkle. What if you yeah. are the treasure and you don't have to go looking for anything? I mean, that was a perfect note to end this on. You know what I mean? Just so fitting, so on brand mm -hmm. for Potato Chip, which, by the way, is still your nickname. It's my nickname that I've never heard before. Also, very, very creative, very um, novel. Oh, I thought you meant like you. I I said it on set many times, but I am very surprised no one's ever called you that. Yeah, no one's ever called me that. Uh, well, thank you everybody for joining us and watching us make complete fools of ourselves. Uh, we had a lot of fun, uh, but we can't wait for you to watch the premiere of Hidden Gems on Hallmark. Yay! Yes, and tune in uh, for our wonderful movie, Hidden Gems, on Saturday, this Saturday, June 4th at 8, 7 Central. And uh, the only place you can watch it is on the Hallmark Channel. So tune in. Tune in. And um, tweet along while you watch if you want uh, with yes. the hashtag Hidden Gems. Uh, that'll be fun. I might yes. pop in. I might, I might send a couple tweets and see what people are thinking. Absolutely. Me too. Hashtag Hidden Gems. Hashtag Hidden Gems. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Bo, I'm texting you right now to make plans and ride your yeah, horse. Please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Bye, guys.